table and rest the forearm on the table. You kind of want, if you can, in the same plane, you have your table up. Pull up your sleeve. It's your wrist. It's right there. Hold one hand over the joint to keep it in position. Move the elbow away from the patient's body and then turn the hand outward until the wrist is an extreme ulnar deviation. It's at 40 inches and it is perpendicular and you center over the scaphoid. So I would close my collimators. But. So elbow is out, hand is out. This is for um, ulnar deviation. Radial devi deviation. Just like that. Until the wrist is an extreme radial deviation. The IR is perpendicular, centered over mid-carpal area. So your centering point's a little different, not much. And I, if you want to look in the book, which you probably already did, of what it looks like on the picture, we can do that. It's actually that. I feel fine. Okay. Does it matter? You're supposed to mark to the lateral side. Lateral. Yeah. <clears throat> That's Day one stuff, Kelsey, come on. Well, it is because it's PA.